In Prince Harry's new book, Spare, ghostwritten by J.R. Mohringer, the Duke of Sussex makes a number of explosive revelations and accusations about his family, in particular about Prince William. The 38-year-old also gives insight into what life is like as a member of the royal family, including things like a clothing allowance and how some members refrain from physical affection. Here, Express.co.uk takes a look at nine of the most fascinating secrets set out in the book. Newspapers laid out each day Harry explores the relationship between the royal family and the tabloid media, and describes how the royals have a vested interest in who has made the front cover of each paper. As a result, newspapers are laid out in pretty much every single palace, he explains. In a picture from 2013 of the Queen shaking hands with the then Prime Minister David Cameron at Balmoral Castle, a pile of newspapers such as The Times, The Telegraph, and The Mirror can be seen as well as magazines such as Hello! and Majesty. Zero Tolerance On Physical Contact Harry describes how as a royal, they were taught to ensure there was a buffer zone between them and the rest of creation. This filtered its way into the firm as there was distance within the family itself as well. He writes, no matter how much you might love someone, you could never cross that chasm between, say, monarch and child. Or heir and spare. Physically, but also emotionally. The older generation, he explains, maintained a nearly zero tolerance prohibition on all physical contact with there being only light touching of cheeks on special occasions. In fact, he says, there were no hugs, kisses, or pats. Harry added he couldn't imagine any circumstance under which he could hug the queen. Prince Harry has made several revelations about the royal family and what life is like for them. Image, Getty, several newspapers can be seen laid out in Balmoral Castle. Image, Oxford film, Prince Harry left, breathless, amid secret sexcapade with Meghan at Soho House in 2016. Prince Harry's book Spare has so far detailed tensions with the royal family, life as a royal and some rather salacious moments. In one passage, Harry revealed he was left breathless as he waited outside of Meghan's hotel room in 2016. The royal revealed the couple had a steamy reunion in a hotel room at Soho House in London after spending weeks apart. Read more here, free for all at Christmas Unlike most, the royal family opens their Christmas presents on Christmas Eve, keeping with the German tradition. Each family member stands by their mound of gifts before, suddenly, opening them all at the same time, pulling bows and tearing wrapping paper, in what Harry described as a free-for-all. Royals almost never carry money Harry describes being a royal as like living in a surreal state, akin to a never-ending Truman Show, a reference to the 1998 film starring Jim Carrey. Not only did he hardly ever have money on him, but house keys either. The Duke also told how he had never owned a car and, almost never, traveled on the London Underground. Prior to his stepping down in 2020, he had also never ordered anything online, nor received an Amazon delivery. Nights at Highgrove Harry talks of his teenage years, spending hours playing the video game Halo under the username Villain Baz. At the Highgrove residence in Gloucestershire, deep in the basement that was once a bomb shelter, he and William spent many of their teenage years in Club H, which stood for Highgrove, not Harry. The boys' lair was decked with a Persian rug, Moroccan sofas, an electric dartboard, a stereo system, and a well-stocked drinks trolley. The brothers would invite around 15 friends around at a time for, not so innocent drinking, of rum or vodka, usually in tumblers, and snogging. Club H was Harry's place of escape, both for when he wanted to act out, and for moments of solitude. Read more. Prince Harry would roll a joint while Meghan and Archie slept. Prince Harry described present opening at Christmas as a free-for-all image, Getty. William and Harry pictured at Highgrove where they had Club H, image, Getty, nicknames the Netflix docu-series, released late last year, revealed that Harry and Meghan refer to each other as M and H.
Harry's memoir has shown that like many other families, the firm used pet names for each other. Throughout the book, Harry refers to his older brother as Willie, and he in turn is called Harold. Harry fondly referred to his great-grandmother, the Queen Mother, as Gone Gone. Clothing allowance The royals receive a clothing allowance each year but Harry revealed that this was strictly for formal wear such as suits, ties, and ceremonial outfits. For his casual wear, the Duke revealed that he enjoyed hunting for bargains in the discount shop, TK Maxx, particularly from brands like Gap or J. Crew during its once-a-year sale. Don't miss, U.S. federal judge blocks New Jersey gun restrictions, insight Trump allies urge XPOT U.S. to get the FK out of Mar-a-Lago, report, Russian military planes spotted in Belarus ahead of joint exercises, latest. The royal family enjoyed barbecues at Balmoral with the Queen making her famous salad dressing, image, Getty, the Queen's salad dressing while spending their summers out of the spotlight at Balmoral. The royal family enjoyed having barbecues, which was one of Prince Philip's many passions. Although the Duke of Edinburgh could cook up a mean spaghetti bolognese on the hot coals, the Queen's specialty was making the salad dressing. Baths at Balmoral An oddity of Balmoral Castle revealed in Harry's memoir was the water which perturbed a number of guests. Many would raise the alarm as something appeared to be wrong with the water in the loo which was brown and resembled a wheat tea. However, Harry said his father would put the guests at ease with a smile, explaining that the water was both filtered and sweetened with Scottish peat. When and where to buy Prince Harry's book, Spare Spare by Prince Harry will be released by publishers Penguin Random House on January 10, 2023. The tell-all memoir, which was ghostwritten by Pulitzer Prize winner J.R. Moringer, promises to be packed full of explosive revelations and insight into the royal family, and there's even an audiobook read by the Duke of Sussex himself. You can buy your copy of Spare on Amazon. This article contains affiliate links, we may receive a commission on any sales we generate from it. Learn more.